G'day avocado enthusiast. You might remember that about six months ago, I potted this avocado tree up and started it as a bonsai. That was six months ago now, and it's time to do some maintenance. So let's check in and make some adjustments. So yes, about six months ago, I found this avocado tree had started growing quite oddly in a Ziploc bag with damp paper towel. I had left it in there for too long, but it had developed this awesome curve to its stem. And I wanted to use that as a bonsai. So I started it as a bonsai. I used this knife to weigh it down to help shape the trunk. And uh, since then, You'll notice that there's not a lot of leaves, but it also has developed this other fantastic looking branch. It's not doing exactly what I'd like it to be doing. So today I'm going to be rectifying that. Now, my wife has requested that I stop using our knives as weights, one, because we need them, and two, because they don't look good. So instead I'm going to be using these fishing sinkers. I don't do a lot of fishing, but I thought these would be an amazing, unconventional weight to help weigh down the branches so that they grow in exactly the way that I want them to. Part of bonsai is us making a plan and shaping the tree to how we want it to be. It's a very aesthetic way of growing plants. It's quite an art and I'm going to be doing it this way today. So I'm also, instead of using this twine, I'm going to use, well, fishing line. This was very cheap, so I got a thousand meters of it and we'll see uh, how it goes. I haven't used it before. I'm hoping it's not too fine that it cuts into the plant. I don't think it will be, but I will be monitoring for that. This is the journey that I'm taking with this tree. So let's first actually do some pruning. There's a few dead and dying parts on here. And the reason why is <laughs> because I haven't given it enough water. This is one of the big things that I've learned with this plant is that bonsais need very frequent watering because it's only in a pot this size. There's not a lot of soil, so the roots take the water out pretty quickly. Also, it loses it to evaporation pretty quickly. So we need to be watering pretty regularly every couple of days, even daily during the warmer months of summer, which we are in now here in Melbourne, Australia. I've also um, found this plate I bought this plate separately, it's not one of ours, um, to use as a saucer because I didn't want to make stains on our shelves. Because I wasn't watering frequently enough or deeply enough because I wanted to get it back on the shelf without it dripping everywhere, some of the new growth has died off. I'm not too worried about it. This one is looking pretty good and there are new buds along the stem as well, but I do want to get rid of the unsightly dead material. So for most of this, I'm just going to be able to come along and twist it off. And uh, that, that growth point at the end has, has died, but that's okay. And oh, this one's not doing as well, so I'm going to actually use these scissors, they're clean, to give it a snip. Just a prune like that and I'll discard that a little bit later. And I've also got this little bit here. I think I'll just be able to pull that bit off like that. Yes, and down here as well. That's looking a little bit better. So now it's time to get shaping. Let's first talk about the plan. I would like this tree to kind of curve around on itself and have a really thick canopy around here. So this growth up here, is not gonna work for me. I want this to come around and bend over like that. I don't need to prune that. I would be very happy if it just grew like this. So that's where I want to tie it. And I'm gonna replace this one with a sinker as well so that I can retrieve the knife. So let's get to that. I need two sinkers for this. And I'm gonna need some fishing line and we'll get tying. So I've got some fishing line there and I'm going to not tie it around, just, tie, just loop it over the one that I wanna bend down. And I want to get it so that it is shaped the way I want it to. So I'm actually gonna probably put it a little higher. I may need to tie another one at a later date back down because at the moment it's going to, if it grows like that, it's this one is probably going to try and go back up 
because it wants to grow away from gravity. So I might need to put another one there until this becomes hard enough that it's not going to move. So I'm going to take that there and tie it to my sinker. I don't really have the best knot in mind for this. I am not a knot proficionado, but I'll give it a go and see how, I'll just see how it happens. Okay, just do a granny knot or a reef knot, or a square knot, because they're the, the ones that I know how to do best. And uh, I know you can't really see the knots that I'm doing. I don't think my cameras would be able to pick up exactly what my fingers were doing now anyway, if I had them closer. So I am, yeah, that'll be, that'll be all right. Okay, that is that one. Now I just need to do it for the, uh, the one that's already bent. So let's see how much it's staying. Oh, would you look at that? That <clears throat> is not looking as though it's going to do much moving. So I'm actually thinking I don't need to anchor that one because the tie and the weight have already done their job at keeping this one exactly where it needs to be for me. So I'm gonna leave that one as it is for now. I might come, actually no, I'm going to add another length here because I am anticipating this to want to bend up. This one is still quite flimsy, quite malleable. So I'm expecting that it's going to try and reach for the sky again. I don't want it really to do that. So do I want it to bend? No, I want it to just kind of go straight over there. So I'm gonna get take another piece and tie it onto the same weight, I think. So I'm gonna tie it over and it doesn't need to be tight, but it does need to be on it so that it, when it tries to grow up, it gets stuck in that position and will grow in that way for, well, that's the way it'll be set. Okay, I'm now going to tidy it up by removing the extra lengths here. Very careful not to prune the actual tree. I don't want to do that. I just want to tidy up my tying a little bit and we're going to be set for now. Okay, so I'm anticipating it to try and raise a little bit, which is exactly what I want. So I am feeling pretty good about this tree and it's shaping now this little avocado bonsai that we have got going here. So what do I need to do next? Well, I need to continue to water it just about daily. I'm also going to be fertilizing weekly. I want it to be well fed. I want it to keep growing to produce more shoots. It's got some new growth around here. I want to support that. So watering it regularly often and giving it a feed weekly is going to help it, especially as we are now in our summer. It's the growing season for it. So here we are. Thanks for joining me on this update. I'm hoping that we'll be able to look back in a couple of years time when this is a much more established bonsai at uh, the journey that we took to get here and uh, it'll be helpful for you on your own avocado growing or bonsai growing journey. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you oh, enjoyed the update or got inspired to do this yourself. I, I'd love to know if you did do this yourself, feel free to tag me on Instagram using the hashtag Scott Grows and Avocado Tree. Uh, I haven't talked about that very often, but you can do that and I'll see it at some point. So uh, if you have a public page. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more avocado content, I invite you to subscribe to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree, where this channel is full of avocado growing videos where I talk about avocado things and we have a good time. So thank you once again for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.